Hi, Roy Oppenheim here. I, I have some questions that are being asked about uh, foreclosure. And the first top question is how to stop a foreclosure immediately. Now, people sometimes use the word foreclosure to mean different things. So we have to be careful that we're, we're using the same vocabulary. Particularly if we're talking about a foreclosure, that's usually the beginning of the process where you are served by a process server. Uh, on occasion, it could be mailed to you by certified mail, where a complaint has been filed against you in the courts in order for you to fully pay the entire unpaid balance of your mortgage. And if that's not paid, that you will have your house sold at an auction. And so the foreclosure process is the process by which the court has been, in, that the jurisdiction of the court's been invoked by a bank or, or by some lending institution uh, to try and take your property away from you. So once that process begins, the question is how do you stop a foreclosure immediately? And, and the two things that you can do is immediately you contact an attorney and they can uh, certainly uh, begin to fight the foreclosure and they can certainly make an appearance, they can file for a, an, a, a request that you have more time to either find an attorney or to, or to file an appropriate answer and figure out what, what, you, uh, what your options are. Obviously one of the first options is to reinstate the loan if you have the capacity to do that and make up the back payments. I mean that stops the foreclosure immediately. The other is to pay off the whole mortgage but typically those aren't options that people have so those, those really aren't, aren't fair answers but they do answer the question. Of course, the third thing is you can file for bankruptcy. The bankruptcy will stop the foreclosure, but it won't end the foreclosure. It'll just buy you some breathing time. And then the question is what happens with it within that bankruptcy? And typically, we have found, and we're not bankruptcy attorneys, is that people will end up usually losing their home in bankruptcy. They will end up staying there for a little period of time, but they won't necessarily end up keeping the home un unless there's some unusual circumstances. Of course, fighting the foreclosure, we find it to be the best answer because it buys you both a lot of time. It also buys you an option to see if, in fact, the banks have all the legal uh, ne necessities that they have to satisfy in order to be able to bring the foreclosure successfully to fruition. Many times, banks do not have the necessary documents. Sometimes they've lost a note. They haven't endorsed it properly. They haven't assigned it properly. A lot of times, they don't have the right evidence. Probably don't have the right witnesses. A lot of times, uh, documents just get lost, and, and, and they just can't. Uh, necessarily bring the foreclosure to fruition and thus the, the case gets dismissed or it gets prolonged sufficiently so that you can figure out how to uh, get out of the foreclosure. You may decide to do a short sale. That's one way to get out of a foreclosure mainly. That means you're going to be selling your home. Uh, sometimes you do a deed in lieu, which means you're going to actually give the property back to the, to the bank, but again, you're going to lose your home. So there, there are ways to stop foreclosures, but that doesn't mean it's going to stop you from losing your home. So we have to decide what our objectives are, and that's why the the folks here at Oppenheim Law uh, have been doing this now uh, for, for over a decade quite successfully.